So this is a screw that was part of a cider press that was used in 1801 to create um, about a 1,200 pound cheese for Thomas Jefferson. Um, I came in contact with this item because I was writing a blog post for the Beehive um, and I decided to make just an obnoxiously punny blog post about cheese because what's cheesier than a blog post about cheese full of puns, uh, cheese puns. And <laughs> so we actually have a wide collection of items related to the mammoth cheese. And I actually, Anne, um, and Bentley is the one who pointed this object out to me. She sent me a bunch of pics pictures of it and our, um, our files on it. And I just like, it's just such a bizarre thing to have because it's not, outside of context, it's literally just a piece of wood. <laughs> like We just have a piece of wood um, and it's literally just a screw from a giant mechanism. And so I always thought that was, it just tickles me because it's, it's, it's a bizarre thing to have. Um, but in context, it makes sense why you would want it. It's, it's such a fascinating story. So the, of course, they're farmers from Cheshire, Massachusetts. And according to one of the written accounts we have about the making of the cheese, there were 900 cows milked to make it. Um, so it's a pretty big cheese. The, the vat that was part of the cider press was six feet in diameter and about two feet in thickness. So um, a very large cheese, as you would imagine, some 1,200 pounds. Could do a, a plug for getting people to look up the Ode to the Mammoth Cheese, which is the song slash poem that we have a copy of. Um, it is very humorous and it's very prideful. Like. <laughs> When I say you could read it from a very inspirational, these people got together and made a 1200 pound cheese. Ode to the Mammoth Cheese is the embodiment of that. Um, it's, they are very proud of this cheese. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't be because it's not every day that someone makes a 1200 pound cheese. <laughs> but it's a very humorous and, and very full of pride uh, piece of literature. They were definitely Thomas Jefferson stands, that's clear. <laughs> you don't milk 900 cows for nothing.